Hello everybody, welcome back to another new episode and this episode is about the corner crafters Now there are three people in this world hiding and we're gonna go wake them up We're gonna go introduce them say hello and this is the new SMP world for the crew and I so we have uh, randomly spawned a seed here, and this seed is obviously a very bit, it's a bit broken, as you can see, and there's just stuff floating everywhere. So, oh, 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 hi, is that Noodle? Noodle, what? Uh, no, the village no. by the door, <laughs> go away. <You're> <laughs> what, one introduction to the video, and Mark is creeping out, and then we've got Snowy, look at Snowy, he did a good job. Snowy, buddy! What's up, man? Why are you so, like, quiet to see me? So I let you go back in there? You need a couple of hours more sleep? Okay, alright, so Snowy's just gonna sleep for a couple of hours because that's just what Snowy does. Snowy likes to snooze. He does like to snooze. So, um, Noodle, you may come out. <laughs> you may come out. Oh, yeah, so, um... Sno hey, Snowy, you actually... Are you back? What do you... Where do you go? Okay, we've lost snow already. The start of the series, okay. and snowy yeah. is... Oh, what? Was you hiding? Or was yeah, you... what? Yeah. What? Did I didn't even see you. I mean, two strangers walked into my house. I, I thought you were going to... Well, technically, it's not your house, is it? It's the, it's the village's house. Mm. Whoa, listen. So, um, yeah, so this is the, uh, the little crew that I handpicked together. Um, we've all got different experience levels here. And, dude, this Iron Golem just doesn't... Oh! Oh, oh shit! No. Make some noise! <laughs> no, no! I was wondering when he was going to do that. <laughs> I'm bloody running! Around 80% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. You might watch my vids all the time and you think you subbed, but you're actually not. So do me a favor to check if that is you. It only takes one second to click that subscribe button and then we're well on our way to 500 subs. Now, back to the show. Oh, anyway, moving on. That actually didn't do as much damage as I does thought. Does he want me still? Um, yeah, no, he coming, does. He's coming. Uh, yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah! 100%. <laughs> Bro, you better do, you better do something. Oh, he's actually almost dead, Mark. You can take him, Mark. You can take him. Yeah, let's go, Mark. Do it. Oh, so main objective, I do believe, for the start of this series is shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Iron Golem still wants you. Dude, man. I'm telling you. So I think order, order, just wait. Order of business would be. So I think what we're gonna do is we're all gonna split up. Um, we have our coordinates top left. Okay. And we're gonna get ourselves situated, and then maybe tune back in pretty shortly, and then we're gonna go off and do our own thing, and then, uh, see what we can get accomplished in what? How long do you reckon? 45 minutes? Building time? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, you guys down? Sounds good to me, yeah. Alright, well, three, two, one. Oh, they mine. Ow. I can't run! I can't run! I got no food! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> Okay, so first things first. All right, so as we uh, decide to leave the pack and say goodbye just for maybe, I would say, about an hour, we're going to go and get ourselves established somewhere. Now, I did put my push to talk on just so when I'm talking to the audience, you guys and ladies, that it doesn't get complicated, okay? Because I don't really need them hearing what I'm saying because even though they're going to watch the my side of the series, I feel like they kind of need to, like not listen to it raw because i do a lot of outtakes a lot of outtakes and <laughs> the thing is here you guys know i take a while editing stuff and i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of happy with this i'm i'm gonna be that guy and grab what i need off the bat look at that not even not even mad about that we do need to grab some food though oh, i mean i have a golden apple i guess i guess i can just munch that Okay, listen, I got that Call of Duty aim absolutely terrible. Dude, this is like the hardest- come here. And if you are all wondering what we are trying to achieve on this new series, and the way I look at it is I would like to enjoy this game with very close friends, and this is pretty much 
what this server is about. It's just me and my creators from the creative corner, and we're rolling this together because obviously we started this at wow, that already like already destroyed itself. That's crazy. But we're all in this together. We all agreed that it would be a fantastic idea. I kind of came up with the idea of doing something like this and kind of having our own creative uh, series, I would say. It's not even a creative series because it's survival, but my my crafters, which are obviously Mark, Noodle, and Snowy. Cornercraft is a new SMP server that is obviously whitelist only for the closest people that content create next to me, like, for instance, the people that are already in here. So, if you are watching this video and you're wondering, okay, I like this, could I possibly join? Well, here's the thing. In the Discord, there is a, a massive paragraph about all the information that you need to answer all the questions that you're probably thinking currently. So... If you already content create and you want to upload to YouTube with us, I am absolutely okay with that. Just pop in, give us a chat, and hopefully this goes somewhere and we can get like 50 members. I think that would be awesome. My my ideal number of people, I do believe, I want to say it's like around 30. If we could top 50, that would be even more crazier. I'm trying to find some dark wood area here because I really want to do my underground cave. I mean, well, come on. <laughs> you know what Noisy likes, right? Noisy likes his underground biome typed editing thing. So where we bring everything from upstairs, downstairs, not even downstairs, but we bring everything from the upper ground to the lower ground. And I'm trying to find a nice little cave that I can get situated in here. And that one looks pretty small. This one looks rather large. And that's actually really big. That's actually huge. Let's go. I'm going to go run down here and check these two caves out. And maybe, maybe this can be our forever home. So it is a go. This is our brand new home. And I'm super stoked for this because I kind of miss starting fresh again. If that makes any sense. Like, you know, in the survival series like that I've got on my Let's Play world. I mean, I wouldn't say it's boring. But what I would say is I miss finding that perfect cave that has a relation to you. And then you immediately fall in love with it. And then you want to bloody just move in. And live your life with all of your fellow crafters on the server. And this is it. This is this is why I love it. I wonder if I'm going to be the first person to get an iron pickaxe. I keep keeping an eye on the achievements here. And I'm like, maybe I'm going to... I'll get the first pickaxe. Hopefully. Maybe. But the best thing is about living underground is... You can just pretty much go mining anytime you want. Because look at all this stuff. Look at all the, the coal, coal, coal. And uh, iron right there. Now I'm going to pop all of this in the furnace because we want that iron pickaxe first before anybody. Hopefully Snowy doesn't grab it before I do. i got a feeling he probably will. Got me some lapis. So early on in the game we have lapis. Now I do believe... Are uh, we sleeping? Or I mean, oh, I should have grabbed a bed from spawn. I didn't, I didn't even grab a bed from spawn. Oops. From spawn. Whoops. <laughs> that's that's not good. That is not good. Where's the rest of this iron? Alright, alright. Oh, did he... Hardware acquired? What is that? Did he get a pickaxe before me? Ah, uh, no. I was the first one. Look at that. Okay, so the plan is up here. I do believe I want the entrance to the cave. Because what I like about this is it goes all the way around, which is really nice. So we can knock this whole center part out. I should probably make some torches actually really quick and put some down here so you guys can see it. And I know YouTube likes to darken the videos if you record them in dark. I should have made a, a sword too, but I never, never thought about that. Let's go ahead and make some torches real quick and we will plaster them on the ground. If we open this up, it will pretty much be a big circle. And then we can do stairs down here to this level. And then 
down there is just more opportunity to expand the cave. Now, it's probably going to look terrible right off the bat because obviously everybody's build does, you know, because it's their starter home. I'm glad that Zombo is not attacking us right now because I need to get situated here. All right. While that's doing that, we will probably go ahead and I'm trying to think where I actually want to start this. I know I said I wanted the entrance here, but I feel like it's kind of open. But maybe if we... Let's tunnel down this way, like so. Take a little bit of damage, it's okay. Like, this seems more like home. Okay, so I think this will probably be our entrance here. And then... Could we... That's another way up there. There's actually technically already a small circle, which is kind of nice. I'm going to get all of the coal that I can possibly see, because who doesn't like coal? I honestly feel like every time I need coal, I don't have it, but then every time I need it, I can't find it. So I'm going to save myself the hassle in the start of the corner craft episode, and get every single resource I possibly can, and then we should probably be able to get the house set up here. I wanted dark wood, but I'm not so fortunate because obviously I didn't spawn in a dark biome. I actually do enjoy the people that are in the server right now. And I, I I can't wait for you guys to check out their perspective too for um the start of the game. It is a pretty awesome awesome idea we all had to do this and I'm so stoked for it. I can't wait. Acquiring hardware. What is that achievement? Can I look at that achievement? Smell, oh, smell an iron nugget. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is going to be the start of our build here. Now, I would like just to kind of... Where does that go? That drops way, way down. Ooh, yep. We're going to go ahead and cover that up. Oh, jeez, I don't have enough stuff here, which is fine. I guess I can probably just put cobble in it, to be honest, right? I mean, it's just temporary. It, it's a home. It's uh, the, st well, the start of a home, I should say. Now, what is that little... No, hmm. Now, maybe we can start... I'm going to grab every... Am I... I was going to say, do I have a full inventory already? I shouldn't. But we need to find a decent... Yeah, see, that's, that, that's, too, that's too small. I'm so picky. I'm going to run around and find the ideal little place for us to start our home in. Now, I don't feel like this is the best spot. I kind of feel like this is a nice spot to get resources from because there's such a large chunk missing out the ground. You can kind of easily see where iron and all that good stuff is. So I'm going to pick these guys up and I'm actually going to go on a tiny little run and we are going to get cracking. Well, we found the place that we are going to call our forever home and this place is very open i have villagers there's a villager over here um well not a villager but there's villagers in this general area i think it's north from here so i grabbed two of these guys there was another one somewhere but i think he got turned into a zombie i can't remember i left him in a boat and totally forgot about him but it's very open and i love it down here now we're, we're quite um deep as you can see um yeah <laughs> we're very very deep um so what i'm going to do here is we're gonna kind of probably fill some of this stuff in i did get some iron as you can see i got a lot of iron hopefully that doesn't blow up because we need i'm actually full out uh armored up with my gold boots and all that good stuff so we have um a grass block and i got two ender eyes not ender eyes sorry ender pearls from that now the second chest i think is right here we got another set of armor and i think oh we actually do have a lot to be honest i didn't think we had that much on us go ahead and pop these in here now i definitely want to start uh to do the floor here and kind of frame this in 
as best I can. I did get out and get some resources. I got a lot of cobble burning up. Um, actually, I should probably put some more in there. I tried to get a little bit ahead of schedule here so you guys wouldn't be just seeing me kind of mining like a bunch of blocks. Um, where's the dark wood at? Do I already have dark wood? Okay, so I do have dark wood. We'll grab all the dirt we have because we're gonna need it. I don't need the cobblestone or anything along those lines. We do just need the stone. Um, how do I make a what's it called? Uh, stone cutter. Do I have to make smooth stone first? Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, so if I need to use this, we have a lot of mods on here. We actually use the same mods as the Hermitcraft. Um, they had a, the, a video that was released and it showed them their mod pack. So I did download it and I like the layout. It looks fantastic here. But if you're next to a furnace and you need this, you can just go ahead and put that in there. So that's actually really nice. I think I am just going to make a lot of smooth stone. Because I think smooth stone look... Oh, oh, Enderman. Enderman. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah, I already made a mad. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, jeez. Okay. We didn't get nothing from him? Wow. I didn't mean to annoy him. I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't even know if I even looked at him. So that's kind of weird here. Now, I went ahead and turned the game volume up because I did notice it was a bit low. Let's get the smooth stone... And now can I make... How do you make a stone cutter? We're gonna have something else. Maybe maybe I need to make slabs, maybe? I don't know. I guess... Nope. Alright, so I'm really confused here. Okay. Alright, well, now we got a new recipe unlocked. Now we can make an armor stand. I'm here just, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we did it. Make a stone cutter. Now, things is going to be randomly placed throughout this area right here, because like I said, we're trying to get all of this prepared. Now, I didn't do this, so... Oh, wait, no, we're going to be changing the color of this anyway, so this whole layer is going to have to be removed anyway. Or, actually... Hmm, I could just remove these. And then put them out the way real quick. Do I have chests somewhere? I have two chests. So we'll run up here and... we will find like a, a little area right now just so I can put all of this stuff. Because there's no point in me removing all of this when I can just add dirt onto this, I guess. I mean, the roof's pretty high up, so it's not like I need to remove much of the roof here. I guess we'll put all the stuff in here for right now. Yeah, we'll just pop some stuff in here. So I will pile all of this in here, and then I'll run back and forth and then grab everything out of uh, these chests, and then we'll just transfer them over. Alright, so that's the last of everything that we need from over there. I'll go ahead and split this coal up and just pop it in there. And then I think I saw more iron somewhere. Which needed to be smelted. So we'll get that out the way and get that smelted. Um, oh, stone cutter needs to be placed down too. And then... Oh, you can make smooth stone slabs. Now, you guys know me. You guys, you guys already know the theme I'm going for, so I don't really have to explain it, but for all you new people who joined, um, <laughs> my theme is grass underground. That's pretty much is, is the best way as I could possibly put it. Uh, we have our dark low. We're actually going to mm, keep 35 raw. Now, what I'm trying to go for here is I haven't... So, the crazy thing is I haven't got on an entrance to this base yet because, well, the cave. The only place I can get up and down is this stream. So, I really have to decide where I want to put a walkway. If I want to put a walkway here that goes like this and then L's back up diagonal. That is probably going to be what I do, actually, to be honest. I feel like that would probably look the best if I was to do, like, stairs going diagonal up and then L'ing up two here because i don't think there actually is a higher point of opening 
I haven't really explored this cave tremendously. I kind of just found it, ran around a little bit, as you can see. There's a lot of mobs somewhere. I don't think I have been down here. Did I see a light, though? Well, maybe I have. So my plan is to kind of keep some originality to the cave. Like, I know in my um, Let's Play series that I got going on, I kind of edited the natural structure and the natural render of the cave itself. So I'm going to try to just kind of, like, place blocks down and try not to remove much of the existing cave structure that's the plan here hence why i'm kind of just going dirt crazy right now because i can change the floor as much as i want what i am worried about is making it look not so natural and i i really do feel like on my on my let's play series i kind of really did lean away from the naturality of like the spawn that it did in the first place when the world generated so and the cool thing is, um, I think this mod pack has the better grass mod on it. And it makes the grass block look way different than it originally did. Now, I'm probably going to keep this, like, natural as much as I can. Like, especially here. So I might, like, go ahead and remove a couple of layers off the top here, like this. And then kind of raise it up a little bit. You know, something like that, so that way it still looks like an actual cave. And I'm not going to go too high on the roof. I, I'm trying to get this kind of the same. So, for instance, we do this, right? And it kind of, it's, it's equal. I don't think this needs to be, or no, this needs to be here. Obviously, you need to remove the stone. And then we're going to wrap natural, we're going to wrap dark wood and stone around the whole outskirts of this. So I think it's going to look rather nice when we're done here. So I'm trying to get this as equal as possible. So this looked great right here. So I need to remove, I think, one more layer of block on the right side. So this looks even. And then I think what we have to do now is make sure... So I don't think I'm even going to like put the dirt down just yet because I, I know I'm going to throw myself off when it comes to making sure both sides are kind of equal and symmetrical. So I think this looks good. Because that looks good. And I think I was going to... Let me go grab some stone, because the stone, I'm going to have to, like, fill in this section. Obviously, fill in this right here. Not quite sure where that's going to go yet, but I should probably actually place down that grass block we have so it can start spreading out. These things just come out of nowhere. I mean, it wasn't the best choice of locations to start, but I think it's going to come together quite nicely here just goes to show you can literally make anything in minecraft it's crazy all right so i'll place that down and that should be able to grow i'm gonna go ahead and remove this and the only rooms that i'm going to be like actually making room for will obviously be your normal you know the normal stuff like your trader hall your chest room Enchanting room, all that good stuff. Those things will actually be made. Like, I'll be blowing a hole and then, you know, doing what I gotta do to make it look like a room. My chest room is probably gonna be in this area, so I'll probably blow this back. I'm trying to go for more of a rectangle. So, kind of like, if you think, if you look at the chest, right? This is gonna be our chest room. Our door is gonna be, like, here. And I'm gonna have chests all along this wall, all along this wall, all along this wall. And I'm gonna do two big giant pillars in the center. That's the plan for that one. I like to plan ahead. As far as I can, anyway. Because, like, you know, I'm not that great at planning ahead. Dude, there are so many skeletons! Now, I don't think I'm happy with that placement at all. Um, I 
kind of feel like if this is going to be the corner, I need to... Oh my goodness, Enderman. Like if I'm going to have this as the general corner, I need to go out this way just a tad bit more. Or something like that. I think that actually looks a lot better. I will admit though, trying to do this from scratch again is actually harder than I thought. You know when you play Minecraft and you're like starting fresh again, everything just seems so new and then you try to think of ideas of how you can make it unique and different this time. So obviously I'm going for the same theme as I always do when I start any world because I just, I, I, I enjoy the difficult tasks of doing this. Now, I know this side is longer than this side, but I'm not really worried about that. So, we'll go ahead and fill all of this in, because now that is done. Ran out of the dirt. I don't think I have any. Oh, one more stack left. I got one more stack left to hopefully fill this in. I mean, and then we need to kind of go around the outskirts of this whole cave anyway and put some stone bricks down and the dark wood. So technically, we might actually we might actually be able to get this done with what we have that makes no sense for me to go that way so i'll kind of just do this and then remove what we need off the corners now it's gonna look very weird and you know off centered and it's not going to be symmetrical but that is the point of why i'm doing this one this way instead because i haven't done that yet so I really feel like this would be a, a different experience to me personally. Now we need to make some more torches so all of this grows. There's two endermen just chilling here. I am going to kill them, that's what I'm going to do. Because I would like those end uh, bloody things. And you do this so they can't get you. And then you just hit them. Ah. Oh, he's up there now. <laughs> All right, awesome. So we're kind of getting some progress done here. I mean, I wouldn't say kind of like we are. I mean, we already have four ender pearls, which is fantastic. I did need to make some more torches. I'm surprised I don't have any more. Um, dirt left, to be honest. I, I, oh, I didn't mean to make that many. Oh, no. Placement non mode two out of nine. What does that mean? Yeah, see it. Oh, it's a tool for something. The stick is a... Oh, my sword's almost broken. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. Look at that. It's like a broken sword. Yeah, if you get a stick out... Um... <laughs> that's really weird. So apparently a stick in this is some sort of tool to help you game, I think. I, I honestly don't know. Now, we're going to make a lot of torches, because we are trying to get all of this grass grown. And as you know, you need light for grass to grow. So, obviously, it's going to look really gross, because we have so many torches lying down here. So many torches, it's okay. Alright, so Mr. and Mr. I would like to get a, what's it called, a lantern? No, a lecher, lecher, lecher. I need to know how to make one of those. I think a lecher isn't just a lecher wood slabs. Something like that, wood slabs I think. 
Okay, so apparently you need a bookshelf to get that. So, I guess we're not going to worry about that kind of upgrade right now. I do want to... I'm going to probably put another one down. Just so we can kind of get two of these going at the same time. Because, I mean, it's still early on in the game. And that isn't really that bad. So, we need to go and go do some trades to get... Some emeralds, and my sword's almost done. Now I know I have quite a bit of coal here. I might have to go and get some more. Um, let's go and grab some iron. I know we have quite a bit of iron. I don't mind wasting a couple of stacks of 64 on leveling. These traders up. Well, the grass is growing in quite nicely. Probably go ahead and remove this layer. Diamond hoe, not bad. Efficiency two. Ow, I knew that was gonna happen. What would we get more from that? Two diamonds. Or one emerald. There, he's almost done. But looks like. Can't trade anything more with him, and we can't trade anything with him. But we, I mean, we have all the coal we need to do our trades. Now, I'm going to throw this stuff off the cliff. Because we don't need the stone stuff. Uh. That's pretty much it. Now, I don't know why it... it I, don't, I, don't, I don't get the lines through these. Like, it was cheaper, and now it's terrible. I think we might actually be out of iron. Okay, we're officially out of iron. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay. Now, I guess we're gonna buy all of these. Come on. Show me, show me, show me. So, these are pretty much almost the same trades. As each other. Now it's one diamond for one. Do they change, like, every day? Well, that is all we have time for today, folks. I am so, so sorry. I recorded a bunch of footage of me putting the border around this platform and then trying to slapping all of these torches down. And then we did go ahead and rank, I think, this guy up a little bit more as well as this guy. And I recorded the footage and it was just too long. It was an hour. And I was like, it's a little bit too long for my channel. So if you enjoyed the new series that I have going on the channel with the corner craft, please do me a favor and like the video. If you liked it, if you loved it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.